Okay, how to make a homemade snap gun for snapping locks. Like so, this one I've already made. Um, I have done a video on this one before. This one I made the tip a bit thin, however, and if you look carefully, you can see it got a bit hot uh, while I was grinding it, which means the blade's very weak. So don't do it quite like that. Don't do it like this either. See how this has not got that extra curve, the circle? This one's not very snappy and it does lose the amount of snap really quickly. So the extra curve is very important. So to make one, um, you'll need a coat hanger or suitable piece of straight wire. Um, you will need a pair of pliers. Um, something round to wrap the wire around to get that round shape. Um, and then something to make a tip. Either you could use a hand file or a Dremel or I'm going to be using a bench grinder. Um, so it's just way quicker. But if you haven't got a bench grinder, there are other things. So you need this uh, flat piece. Just cut that. And um, that. Okay. So this part, useless. Throw it in a bin. This is the bit you need. So if you want it to be, you know, about I don't know that long ish, uh, which is I have a ruler. I don't know length of a texter. And then you need something like this. And then you want to just bend it around. A bit like that. Alright, once you've done that, then you need to take your pliers. And get a nice bend angle there. Bend that up. This one's going to be a bit smaller than my other one, I guess. And then around just to make a trap for that. Bend it like so. Alright, there's our snap action. It's got quite a lot of force on it. Now, oh, just broke my fingernail. Um, don't do that. Might file that off in a minute so that it's less sharp and you don't do what I just did. Um, and then we need to get a tip on that. You want it to be as long as is going to go into a lock. So about, you know, like a thumb knuckle length, you need to thin that down. Um, something like this one, where I did that with a hand file down, or like this one. Um, so I'm going to go take that, uh, file the end smoother, file that off, and show a quick file this into a tip, and we'll see how it works. All right, and we're back. So, I've taken the bench grinder and a file to this. Put a nice tip on that. I also gave it a really quick sand. Oh, that's why it's a bit shiny. It doesn't really need much of a sand. You just don't want it to be too rough. Just want to take the burrs off. And a little bit of a triangle point on the front helps it slip in uh, under the pins. Oops, don't throw it away. All right. So, there's that. Um, there's a lock. I'm going to make sure it does actually fit in a lock, which it does. So, I don't know, moment of truth. I mean, that's it. Snap gun's done. That's really all there is to it. They're very, very simple. Um, let's see if I can open up this basic screen door lock. 
the tension tool, put a little keyway down there, gentle tension, slide this in. Oh, that's not helping. Oh, locks fall down the less. There we go, and it's open. Pretty easy. So yeah, it can take a few snaps. Um, maybe it's a good idea to put a bit of tape or something just over that end there, so you don't go into your thumb, or make it a bit bigger, like this one I made. This one's actually a much more comfortable size. Its thumb slips off like that, but the tip on this one is too bendy, so it only works a few snaps at a time. But there you go, that's how to make a homemade snap gun out of a coat hanger.